What's up guys, welcome back to Acero Gaming. Today I'm playing Hunting Simulator 2. Let's get into it. Good. Now let's get down to business. There should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little, you should be able to find some. What if we get you in the truck? Well, See what we got here. Here we go. And your first track. Now, you're gonna have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. White tail. The fabled white tail cool. deer. A classic. Okay, so we know it's a white tail. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Would you mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. Okay. So press menu button to open the map and A to add the marker. Our marker and Okay. It's got to double click A. All right. Let's go get us a uh, rifle and a hunting license. I think you're ready to go hunt that white tail now. Oh wait, before you head out, I got you a little surprise. That's right, it's your very own hunting vehicle. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? <clears throat> uh, good name, let's see, a good name, Hunting Beagle. Ah, uh, we'll go with Chad. an awesome name. Reminds me of my old border collie. Oh, does it? Okay. Okay. So let's get back to those traps. Check your map to find the marker you placed. Alright. Come on, Chad. Come on, buddy. Don't let me down now. Take you back to the pound. This will increase their drive and make them more obedient. Okay. Good boy. Good now that you have your dog with you, you can instruct them to follow a trail from this track. If the dog is following the trail. They'll go to the next track and wait for your next instructions. Give it okay. Let's keep following this trail for a bit. Alright. I'm sure you'll run into something eventually. I will let Chad do his thing. Oh, he's tracking it. Let's see what he looks like. He's still going after it. The scenery in this game is pretty good. I like it. Hunting can be a slow game. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. Mm. If you keep following the tracks, though, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. Isn't that the damn truth? Oh, looks like we got a blind up there. They still oh, look there to stand. Why don't you get a little closer? Uh, he's all on this trail, isn't he? Can you go? 
Follow that trace. Let's see. We have him stay. I want us to get into the stand. Okay. Now all you have to do is climb into it. Oh, well, other side. There you go. Voila. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the wait game. You don't have to wait for stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point. Yes, sir. That makes you less noticeable. Okay, let's wait a bit more. My instinct is telling me something good is about to happen. There, a white-tailed deer. Don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Take a deep breath and aim for its vital organs. Alright, so we're just going to put a scope on it and we're going to just wait for it. follow this dude. Wait for it. It looks like a buck. Yeah, he's a small guy. Now, take the shot. Good job. You got that deer good. Oh, he's hurt. Get out of the stand. Go find the blood. Oh, uh, he's hurt. All right. So we shot him about right in that area, so Let's go. Get to always memorize the location where you shot the animal. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's waiting for us. That's uh, uh. He should follow us. Come on, Chad. Let's go get this blood trail. Yeah, it kind of looks like I hit him behind the. It may have strayed off a bit. The shoulder. Blood trail where you shot. It. Okay. Good look at that blood. Now, just follow it, or have the dog trail. I don't see it. Is it just me? All right, there you are. Blood bright. Okay, I wonder what that means. Let's uh, track him, buddy. Go. Follow that trail. I got some more right there. Oh, that's a heavy gusher. I don't think he made it that far. I would. We're just gonna be nice and stealthy, nice and quiet, just in case he uh, bedded down. I don't want to spook him off. I mean, we have a dog going after him, but you know, that's a thing. Cause I don't know if they get spooked by animals, as in this case the dog, Chad, or uh, humans. So uh, he's just taking off. It shouldn't be too far now. Uh, we'll just get a little sprint. Oh, there he there is. He is. You did it. All you have to do now is bag it, bring it on back to the. Camp. Uh, he didn't look that far. I mean, he didn't drop that far. Cool. Let's see, he's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pointer, huh? Doesn't have a big spread, but hey, first time, first time. I look like he's been through. He needs a hairdo or something. I don't know what's wrong with the guy's fur. Okay. Male, mature, Europe. I wonder if we can do the US. Okay, you can do brain shots in this thing. Huh? So is that the lungs? I'm assuming I we shot him in. I think it is. Let's head back. Okay. You can use your map if you're lost. Uh, I think we should be able to. No, we're just gonna sprint back. Cause I think it's this. This is this an intro to the game. So I think we'll just run all the way back. And see what they want us to do. Oh shit! Is he coming? Yeah. Come. I need you beside me. Come on, Chad. Come on, buddy. Uh. 
I think camp is back this way. I think we just run straight. We should hit it. I think it's in a two track road that led up to it. And yep, there's that two track road right here. So I think we'll just follow it down, we'll eventually hit it. So that's just one. Oh, that's, oh, Wait, that scared me. <laughs> another animal nearby. It sounds like it's a moose. But you don't have a license for it. Which means you won't be able to hunt it. It always pays to get multiple licenses for a region. So you can hunt more than one animal type at a okay. time. Anyways, let's get back to that cabin. So there's moose on this map. Yeah, that scared me. That that did freak me out just a little bit. I thought it was a bear or something tr waiting for us to come back. To now that you're at the cap, all you have to do is claim the animal and we're done. Could have had us for breakfast. Okay. When you claim a bagged animal, you can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice is yours. Okay. I guess walk in this. There we go. Walk up a little more. Um, so this guy, he's not that big. Uh, 156 score. Eh, he's not that big. Uh, he didn't have a good spread and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna sell him and get some uh, money from him. Good job. You did great today. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. Now, let's go back to your lodge. You're ready. Let's see what we can do on the computer. Licenses, weapons. Okay. So we have $5,550. And we can do Colorado. Texas and Europe. Okay, we got a bear license. Bear license. Uh, we're gonna do Colorado. And uh, I think the last time I bought all the licenses, I'd say you can do a small game, waterfowl, turkey. But uh, I'm gonna do. Moose? Wait, uh, it's like two different moose, huh? And so if you can kind of tell in the right hand corner, it kind of tells you what you can hunt with them. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go big game right now. Let's do bighorn sheep. Elk, deer. Well, I'll do the other moose license, and I don't know if we'll, well probably encounter my own lion. And uh, Havelina, a few other things here. I th Let's see here. I think that should be good. And then, like I said, Texas. It looks like they have uh, bobcats, coyotes. This is a wolf. Oh no, it's a coyote. Red fox, bobcat, antelope, mule deer, white-tailed deer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if we go back here. I, I should have paid attention. So this is a moose license, and this is your elk, which. Um, that elk on this picture kind of looks like a moose too. So, and then you have Europe, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start hunting in Colorado. 
and then we'll probably move to Texas. Let's see what type of weapons we have. So we have shotguns, rifles, sporting rifles, and crossbows, recurve, and compound bows. I think I'm gonna buy me. Um. Well, let's see here. So, what gun can you? Let's see here, real quick. Okay. So obviously the caliber is different for your moose, and I'm assuming elk is the same thing. Yeah. 308, 270, 308, 270, 30 out six. 30-30 okay what about uh, meal and white tail 30 out 6 you look like you can do for them so we'll buy a 30 out 6 or 30-30 we'll buy a 30-30 and so let's see what type of weapons they have. Winchesters, okay. What else? So they're bolt action and uh, three and one. So we can examine it. I think I'm gonna go with the brown one, the brown Winchester. Okay, and was it 30 out six? I think it was 30 out six. Let me just go back real quick. Yeah, 30 out 6, 30 out 6, 30 out 6, 30. Okay. How much is a bow? 19, 2200? Alright, we don't have enough for a bow. I think it'll be our next weapon. It'll be a bow. Optics? into it the nope and let's go with I'm more of a cheaper one see what else we can buy let's go with this one okay items it's got binoculars Range finders, wind powders. Uh, that's a pretty expensive for wind powders. To tell you the truth, calls, moose, boar, elk, deer, pheasant, waterfowl. Okay, scent killers. Okay, okay well. I think always on the list, you should always buy Scent Killer, no matter what. 7,700? Oh my gosh. 15 times. Scent Killer times 15 has 15 times as many charges as normal. Okay. And this is. Uh, it doesn't really say. So we're going to buy Scent Killer. And. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, looks like a bugle. We'll buy an uh, alcohol. Oh, you don't have much money after all, do we? Ah, welcome to hunting. And clothing. Okay. Well, what else do you have? Got a shirt. I think I'm okay with that shirt for now. Got. You get gloves. Uh, 
don't think it's that cold yet. Some new pants would be pretty cool. But I think boots. Uh, gotta start somewhere. Let's just buy a cap. Looks like Wayne Carlton with this hat on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. That doesn't really match with the camo, but I do like those tight beanies. Well, we'll just go with the browning hat. Okay. And then, companions. So you can buy your pointers, your Labradors, yes, yellow, yellow, chocolate, black, okay? And I think that is it. All right, so it looks like we got everything we needed. So real quick, it looks like now we can interact with different things. So, let's see what this does. Oh. Yeah, how about we just, we'll, we'll just keep it off. I think it sounds better off. What is this? Oh, okay. All right, well there's Chad right there. That's cool. I do like the sound of the fire. Looks like you can interact with this stuff back here. Wiki. Okay, so it kind of tells you about the game. Licenses, sense, tracks, calls, bagging, claiming, claim trophies, fines. Fines will be imposed on the player for actions considered illegal. You will be fined for shooting an animal without a license, shooting an animal too many times, shooting a female animal, specific specific animals only, shooting an animal with the wrong caliber, not bagging an animal before returning to your lodge. Okay. So that looks like it just kind of gives you the, the rules and gives you a little more info on the game. Can you come back this way? Does anything light up? Clothing. Okay. Can you go to bed here? Okay. So we can go to bed. And uh, I think this is where our clothing. So eventually, eventually, when I get more into the game, you'll be able to. Oh, I'll just keep that hat on. That was a better looking hat. I didn't know we had that one on. Be able to get more stuff. So pretty nice big cabin. And I think this is the last thing we can interact with. You have not yet unlocked the other owl. You must first claim one for every type of animal. Okay. I think that's something that we do. Okay. So select backpack weapons and items. Okay. Alright guys, well I think that would do it for this video. Me and Chad says uh, have a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.